Hey, what's going on, y'all? Anthony Mosley, also known as KT, artist, writer, producer of uh, various hits, various hooks, and you are watching This Is What It Is. I got my start, um, how I got my start in music was about, <laughs> man, I'm 37 now, so I had to be, had to be about 15, 14, 15, when I really got my real start in the music, like really taking it serious, and like really trying to focus on becoming a recording artist, it started out probably when I was 14 or 15 years old by me just kind of trying to get up in any little local talent show and, and do my thing at any place that I could. So, wow, I would have to say that that was like 26, 25 years ago, you know, that I really got my start in the music. And, I, and things started to fall in place. Um, I think the thing that a lot of people don't understand is that uh, I come from a musical background. I've been singing since the age of eight. Um, I've been singing gospel music since the age of eight. Me and all of my brothers and sisters, we all can sing. If, if someone in my family wasn't singing, you was playing an instrument. So you had some type of uh, musical uh, talent or some inclination of some type of musical capacity uh, if you were in my family. I come from a, a huge family background in the music. Um, not in music industry, but just music in general. Uh, another thing a lot of people don't know is that in elementary school, in the third grade, I started playing the trumpet. I played it until my junior year of high school. Uh, I also played the congos, I played the drums. Um, these are all things that, you know, came together just out of the sake of trying to get out of class. And also, um, also just, you know, just a genuine passion and love for music. But, uh, you know, as time progressed through my teenage years, uh, I started to meet a lot of people who, you know, were interested in the hip hop, you know, at the time when I was a teenager, hip hop was like on its come up. You know, I'm talking about like, you know, Slick Rick, uh, Dana Dane, Salt and Pepper, Dougie Fresh, uh, Public Enemy. Like, this is when the game was really taking a shift. Like, it, it was making a shift where it was becoming very popular. You know, the Beastie Boys, uh, LL Cool J, Run DMC, like, Curtis Blow, like these are all things that, you know, in the direction of hip hop was starting to grow. So, you know, that's when I started to take a liking kind of to it. And I kind of shied away from the singing and got more involved into the rapping. And then uh, another thing people don't know is that rap came very easy to me. Like, there was really no effort put in behind anything that I did rap wise. And I'm not saying that to be, to sound cocky or to be conceited, but there was, it was really no challenge to me when it came to rap. It was more challenging for me when it came to singing because it's so much more required to, to being able to sing a song, but rap came second nature to me. And so, I mean, as, as time progressed, I started to take it a little bit more serious. I mean, I got involved into the street life, you know, and that kind of took, you know, my main focus, but then my escape was always through the music. So I, I, I met Joseph Fergus. You guys may know him as Joe Politics. We created Concrete Click made history in the city of Boston and I mean from there we both went on to uh, pursue our other passions. Uh, Joe was a film major, he has a degree in film and video, he can shoot major motion pictures. He, sh he shot various videos for a lot of you know well-known R&B, hip-hop and old-school funk artists as well as myself I branched off more into the producing and the writing side of things which in turn turned into my get my own solo record deal with Andre Harrell uh, in 96 uh, and so you know music is you know it's in our blood it's in my blood and I mean I just have a word for the wise for anyone out there you know who's interested in getting into music is the first thing is you just have to be true to yourself. I know that you've heard that saying before, but being true to yourself is making music that you like. Not making music that you think the masses would like, but making music that you would like. Because little do you know, there's probably hundreds and thousands and maybe even millions of you out there. So with that being said, you know, that's, that's what it is.